That's three points against the baggies in the back. What's happening guys, it's your boy TC back with another video. So we've basically just uh, finished off uh, the match against West Brom and uh, it was a very, very good result. Uh, I think the team put in a very, very solid performance. Uh, there was a lot of structure and organisation, uh, but we'll get into a bit more of that later on into the video. So just to kick off the video, we'll go through the team selection from tonight and uh, there were no surprises as such. Uh, in goal, we had Petr Cech. The back three was basically unchanged from the last Premier League game. We saw Monreal, Koscielny and Mustafi at the back and as a wing backs we saw Hector Bellerin and Kolasinac resume their duties. In the middle uh, it was a bit of a surprise. Uh, we saw El Nenny come in actually who put in a very very good performance in my opinion. He put in a very very good shift and uh, he was partnered with the regular in that position, who is Shaka, and uh, up front, the top three were Alexis Sanchez, Alexander Lacazette, who we will speak about a bit more, as well as Aaron Ramsey. So, the final score was basically 2 0, and uh, that was the initial team selection that was put out by um, Arsene Wenger. And um, I should say, the first half um, wasn't that easy. Uh, West Brom did turn up in the first half, um, they did think at some point it did look like they thought that they could get something out of the game. In particular, during uh, during the first half, which was the early part of the first half, uh, they looked like they were going to score. I think it was about 11 minutes in and uh, it looked like a fantastic chance for Jay Rodriguez, but it didn't materialise to anything. And uh, they also had a chance, uh, which was cleared off the line by Nacho Monreal. It was a fantastic, fantastic clearance off the line. Uh, but overall, uh, West Brom did turn up within the first half itself. Moving on, so we got our goal, our first goal, I should say, uh, in the first half, uh, courtesy of Alexander Lacazette. Um, it was a uh, it was a brilliant goal, I should say, great reaction from Alexander Lacazette. Uh, it was a free kick taken in by Sanchez and um, it hit the post. It hit the post. I was thinking, well, this is going to go in, but obviously Lacazette was at hand to actually tuck the rebound away. Uh, no one else around him seemed to have reacted, including the West Brom players as well. But he was, uh, he was free to tuck the goal in and that was his third goal in three home games at the Emirates and uh, that hasn't been done since September 1988 so well done to him uh, we also know that he did get the penalty as well which was the second goal later on in the second half but it did put in a very very good performance I should say uh, he was subbed on late on into the game I think it was around about the 81st minute uh, we saw Oli Giroud come on and try and get his 100th goal but that didn't happen uh, but overall, as mentioned, uh, Lacazette did put in a good performance. So, just to discuss some other players, I think, that actually performed well. Um, I think Ilneni must have gone under the radar. I'm not too sure if all of you guys noticed. Uh, but I think he put in a very, very disciplined performance in terms of his decision-making. Uh, at times, we were finding him very, very further forward. And um, at times, he was very, very deep. And he was coming back to help out the defence, which he's actually employed to do. Uh, but we were seeing his decision making was actually brilliant today and um, he got the balance right he definitely got the balance right so I, I basically think that El Nenny had a good game today uh, I'm not a big fan of him but the more I see of him this season it looks like um, he's getting better he's improving he just needs to get the balance right on a regular basis and add to that consistency and I think we will have a good player on our hands. Uh, moving on, another player that I was uh, particularly impressed with uh, was Nacho Monreal. He had a good game, a very good game, in particular the clearance off the line. That was a goal. I assumed that West Brom were genuinely going to score at that particular moment, but he read the game well, and uh, he obviously covered his goalkeeper. He'd noticed that his goalkeeper had left the line, and he was in place to make the clearance. Going forward as well, he was posing a massive threat, and there was a time during the second half where he found himself further forward, Forward. It was a fantastic one-two between him and Sanchez and uh, unfortunately it came to nothing but again he put in a very very good shift. Uh, moving on I'd like to talk about Alexis Sanchez. So Sanchez uh, overall I'd say he put in a very 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 good shift. Uh, he was making things happen, he was closing things down very 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 quickly and he was playing very very good diagonal balls which were landing. There's one chance in particular he did create for Lacazette. It was deep from the left hand side and he swung it in on his right foot and uh, Lacazette 
absolutely took it down like a champion as he is. And uh, unfortunately, uh, Ben Foster made sure that the angle was closed down and reduced. And his shot ended up going over the bar. But the pass and the initial first touch from Lacazette was absolutely amazing. And uh, Sanchez, again, as I said, he was making things happen. He was trekking back as he does on a regular basis. If we clear the ball, he was moving forward, charging the West Brom defence down. So I think he did put in a, an overall good performance. But one criticism, the one and only criticism I should say in regards to uh, Alexis Sanchez in today's match was I found that he was losing the ball quite a lot. Obviously, on some occasions, I'd say two out of five times he was getting the ball back. But he, I did notice that he was losing the ball quite often. Uh, it didn't really matter in the end. Um, he got substituted as well uh, for Moza Ozil, who is currently recovering from a knee problem that, uh, that actually came up during the Chelsea game. Uh, but again, going back to Sanchez, the free kick was fantastic. I take that as an assist. It was a very, very brilliant um, free kick, which came off the bar. Overall, it was a very, very good performance from him. Um, from the defence themselves, so this is the third clean sheet on a on the bounce we haven't conceded goals in the last three games just take that in let that sink in hopefully it will definitely continue but the defense again was well organized because Shelney got the job done uh, he really put a foot wrong today Mustafi as well they looked like they gelled quite well today uh, Monreal was just doing just enough um, just to keep cover behind the other two guys uh, as he's the quickest out of the three but Again, the defence was absolutely solid. Well done to the defence today. So what do you guys think of today's performance? Again, I'm very happy. Three points in the bag. I think this win sees us move up to seventh, uh, just above Huddersfield. So things are getting better. You can see that the team is up and running now. Um, hopefully we will kick on from here. The next stop is Belarus. We'll be doing a team preview on that. So stay tuned for that one, guys. So please, as usual, guys, do let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed to the channel please do make sure that you hit the subscribe button once again guys it's your boy tc from i'm gonna talk tv and i'm out